So this video um, demonstrates the adaptable plotter export function in which you can not only send um, any data that you want from your grid and you can specify it through queries and ranges as we'll see, but you can also keep that data in sync with wherever it's sent through our live update function. Um, so we're going to um, open the OpenFIN container and you need to be running in the OpenFIN container if you want to have the live update. The normal Excel export uh, will work anywhere and we'll open a hypergrid. And this is running a dummy price plotter um, for FX. And you can see that in the export, we ship with three ranges, all data, selected cells, and visible data. So let's do all data. And as you can imagine, this sends all the data in your data set through to Excel, which is opening now. And obviously they're staying in sync. So if I change the bid offer spread on this first one from 0 0.25 to three, then it changes it to the here, and it makes the same changes here. So that's a very simple um, range, but you can also create your own. So let me give you an example of that. And ranges are very useful because you could have a range that says all changes made today, or my trades, or activity um, done for this currency, with this whatever, whatever. You can completely specify what you want and in fact, those rows or those columns don't need to be visible in the grid. So long as the query is a live query, you can send it whenever you want. And in fact, you can schedule it. So let's create a query. Will you um, send all columns? And we'll keep it simple. We will just say for the type column, we will do yen crosses and your peer crosses. So let's call that crosses. Let's close that. Um, and in fact, we'll show you something. We will only have European crosses in the grid. So even though we're only showing European crosses, because the crosses range includes European and yen, when I export this to OpenFIN, to Excel, you can see both. You can see both European and yen. And again, obviously, it's all live. If I change that 0 0.25 to 3, then it changes here um, and everything is staying completely in sync. And not only that, if we change our range, then that will automatically change which rows we send to Excel, just as if rows come in and out of the blotter, Excel will also update. So let's edit our range. And instead of saying just yen crosses and European crosses, let's also add emerging markets. And now we can see that emerging markets there we are, has been added to our grid. So their ranges, the ability for you to query um, exactly what data you want and then to send it to a number of formats. And it's not just Excel, you can send it to Symfony, PDF, CSV, um, text files, however you want to send it. The nice thing is they will always be kept fully in sync. So that's our Excel function. Any questions, please get in touch with us.